Okay, the properties window, it is fantastic. So there's so much we can do and learn from the properties window. Obviously we have all of our windows here and the ones that you love and adore and use, they're all accessible under the, the menu here, windows. I love the properties window. It is a, something that was introduced quite recently to InDesign and it's very handy. It kind of is like a mothership of, of the window. So it allows you to access a whole bunch of other windows, you know, we can make. <clears throat> I'd say a square here. I'm just gonna make it black. I can start to get some corners in here, some different kinds of corners. So there's just a lot we can we can do, you know, we can do with this properties window. We can align things, align to the page, center, center. We can do <clears throat> text wraps. So say I had some copy here. <clears throat> Whoops. I had some just to select everything. I'm just going to put some placeholder text in here <clears throat> so you can see what a um, text wrap can do. So text wrap is when I have, say, text I want to flow around an object. And it is either in your text wrap window under, where is it? Is it utilities? Text. Text wrap. So that is... Now, when I select this, text wrap kind of moves around it. But beware, you always have to do that. You cannot have any, you cannot have um, these value fields be completely, see, and your text will kind of flow around it. So you have to, I have no text wrap, text um, just kind of sits on top of each other. But then as soon as I add some values to these, you can see it kind of gets butted away. So it's very important when you're using text wraps that you have values in these fields. You can't just um, have no value. You have to have a little bit of numbers there. So that's what a text wrap is. You can have it above and beyond and et cetera. That kind of wraps around the entire shape. But you can access that in the properties as well. So text wrap. Unfortunately, it will then bump you to the, um, the, the value fields here. So as soon as I go on prop, uh, text wrap, you'll see what happens. And I, as soon as I click on that, uh, oh, it's just using the default there, right? Okay, so the one I already had accessible. So that's, it's, you still need to go to the text wrap window. But it's just a really good, cool thing that allows you to do things like move things around um, from the front. You can lock, you can convert shape. Oops. You can convert a shape. So if I have this shape selected, oh, so I can't get that now. Oh, there I got it. If you can't get it, just go into your windows and just, is that the right one? There we go. Nope, which is the one I want. I want this one, that one, which is now called a circle. If I don't want to call it a circle anymore because I converted the shape, I can triple click on that. I'm going to call it, what is that? hexagon hexagon i don't know if that's a hexagon um so if i want the hexagon say to change to a different shape i can go convert shape rectangle oh i have the thing selected different one selected anyways you can play with that there's a lot oh back up um basically that is doing this thing called a um, pathfinder and next video i'm just going to show you how to place a text within some uh, sorry, image within uh, some text.